All right, guys, welcome to our impressions of Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 DMZ mode. This is the, uh, a lot of people like to say it's like Tarkov. It's probably a little bit more like Hunt Showdown. And, uh, again, this is one of those modes that, uh, like, you play it first and you hate it. You, you think it's empty, it sucks, the AI is stupid as hell, and all those things. Well, the AI is, is stupid as hell, but the more I played it, the more I enjoyed it, and I actually do really like DMZ. Um, it is not as fun to me as the Battle Royale mode. So Warzone 2.0, Battle Royale, that's where I'm going to spend most of my time. But if you're new to the game and you want to ease yourself in there, it unlocks weapons really quick because if you ex extract with a weapon you don't have, it automatically unlocks. So that's really cool. Uh, unfortunately, there are some cons. It's only three players. Uh, I, we want quads, please, because, you know, we're in BR, and then it's like, all right, let's take a break. And then it's like, all right, one of you needs to leave, and mm, that sucks. So we would love quads and DMZ. And that plays into another thing that it feels kind of empty. Uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, if... And they need to populate it with uh, more players or make the play area smaller to pack those players in. So as you see here, you have active missions. We've completed two of the three objectives on each of these. We just need to find a looted loot a supply drop. We need to unlock a locked space, open a safe. So there's a lot of PvE content in this. You'll have certain loadouts which uh, are contraband. And if you die with it, then you end up uh, losing it. And so you can end up going in with fists if you lose everything. There is uh, a loadout that you can put in insurance, uh, which will be on a timer. Go ahead and ready up if we can. Uh, and then uh, basically the AI is very, very stupid. So the way they compensate for the lack of intelligence on the AI is to create these tanks, right? It, it takes so many bullets uh, to crack any of these guys' armor and to bring them down. Um, I just wish the AI was more intelligent, so it doesn't. So it offers a little bit more challenge. But maybe that's the point that the AI is supposed to be not smart, because of occasionally you will run into a player team and they can jump on you, um, and they can bring in items from previous missions that they've gone in, looted, extracted. Gone in, looted, extracted. So you can end up running into a fucking team of three that has full armor, that has their loadouts and everything they like, and it's it's really hard. So I can see a new player coming in and just getting steamrolled and be like, I hate this mode. But it is, uh, it's still fun to me. What do you guys think of DMZ? For me, I don't hate it, but I'm still trying to get used to it. The bullet sponge with the fucking tanks, they're just too much, and it feels very empty. Mm -hmm. So I'm still willing to give it a try, but I'm not liking it too much. Yeah, I also don't I don't like it. I think that, I mean, it's just in the beta, so like I don't know if mm -hmm. it's going to be on the launch, but they need to change a lot for me to actually want to play this mode. It's too empty. The AI is useless. And then I don't know if they can't code better AI, and so they just give them like ten armor plates or, or what the issue is. But I'm not. I haven't had too much fun playing the playing the game because we're not running into uh, a lot of players. other teams. And like the issue is, we played great games like this, like Marauders recently, and Marauders is so good. And this is just. I mean, I understand this is a free for little fun extra mode, but I can't see myself wanting to play this. See, and in this, you're looting. Uh, you're getting a lot of monies, and when you when you loot and loot and loot, I like looting. So that's why I think I like this mode better than them. When you get into the higher level areas, the AI does get a little bit better, a little bit smarter. Uh, but most of the times, they're just going to throw waves of enemies at you. And that's, that's what you're going to deal with. Like, for example, over here, we've got a lot of guys. We're going to get into some action shortly. Uh, but yeah, the looting is fun. There's a lot of useless items, but then there's like some fun items that you can extract with. And it's mainly just to get your money up. See? See what I mean about... They're just... <laughs> this is pretty bad. Now, where's this guy shooting from? Like, how did that guy not see me? <laughs> Dude, I'm talking about that guy. 
just shoot him randomly. That's funny. All right. But it, I don't know. It's fun. Like I said, it's for new players. I think it, it'll ease you in there so that you could feel like a badass because you're shooting up all these idiots. Uh, but then you get rolled once, uh, you know, you run into an actual team, especially a team that's been playing longer than you and has way better equipment. It can feel unfair sometimes, but when you're the one doing that, boy, does it feel good, you know, and you're just killing multiple teams because you're just well-equipped. And, yeah, so you got these items like laptops. That's going to be higher dollar items, so you want to drop your $100 water bottles and, you know, you pick up. got a first edition comic book, which is pretty expensive. Yeah, <laughs> you can find comic books. You see this is all $40 and bullshit like that. Um yeah, so let's go ahead and fulfill one of our objectives. Um, here's a weapon case. So there's dynamic events on this particular one. Uh, here is the radiation area. This is how you unlock the M13. You got to get in there, extract with the weapon, and you can have a brand new weapon that's only in DMZ. This is the main reason why people play it right now. And then there's you know, different weapon cases, high-level weapons. And then all of these different uh, fun things to do uh, with your anti-air. So you can go over to a SAM site and you can start, f you know, bringing down helicopters and bringing down planes. We found that pretty fun. At one point, we brought down a plane, which brought down the loot. And we tried to loot it, but somebody stole the loot. And then we were racing after them. And they exfilled before we could get there. And then we were like, fuck, I hate this. But then we did that to somebody else, and it felt really good. So there are these little dynamic stories that can kind of be created. Um, and it so the play experience can vary wildly. You can have a lot of fun in one, and then you can have barely any fun in the next. We made it out. And just then, there's a supply drop over there. That's what we needed to complete one of our missions. <laughs> loot a supply drop right, <laughs> oh my God, damn right it. there. Ping. Isn't that? Didn't we get that already? Mm, that no. that specific one. I thought we have to get the one no, from the plane. That one's like a light, light brown one. And that's DMZ. <laughs> so your mileage may vary in that one. I wasn't very excited. We never ran into players. Buttholes in the road. You can join a squad mid-game, too, with the proximity chat and the pinging system. Not the pinging system. Uh, where is it? Yeah, invite nearby players to join your squad and repet request to join nearby enemy squad. All right, we're looking for a toolbox. These are players? Yeah. A downed one? One's dead. All right. Can you call, call to me? OJ, be safe. I got another one dead. Person's or the shooting. player is shooting at that. Which, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's behind that. Did we down him? On the crack. Now he's down. Got him. Is it NPC? Dude, motherfucking long shot. Okay, we just got him, right? Okay, let's open the fucking door. Ready? Yes. Door unlocked. Mission complete. Excellent. These guys are gonna be quite, quite hardy. I just lost all my armor. Shit. Okay, so we got that done. The only thing we need to do is destroy six vehicles. Get One, out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, extract? Yeah, we gotta get out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. We're gonna make it. We are not. Oh, no. I can't believe it. We were just hanging out, having a good time. time. Joe, get in. Get in. Come in. I got a bunch of Great gas masks, here. so. You gas mask? Mm, I have one. 
You have one? Yeah, uh, I have one. I have a durable gas man. Nice. Because if you needed one, I don't. My I got one for sale. Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred dollars. <laughs> See, this can be fun. This is PVE, you know. Did you do it? Yeah. All right. Locked. A card shack requires <laughs> a key. Uh, did you just leave Buttles are on the way. Anymore? Here, I'm gonna throw an armor box down. Here, come, come, get, come, get a hit of this. I'm out of lethals. Just trying to throw a grenade. So grab, grab Here. your armor. Oh. What are you doing? I was trying to destroy the car. Why did you throw down? Was that Joe? Joe, you had armor the whole time. I just found it when we were running. <laughs> Is that a PC? Better. That's running real weird. No. Yeah, we got one vehicle. <laughs> right, I'm gonna blow this one up. <laughs> Can we even? Counts. Did that not count? I did. Right. Here comes an enemy vehicle about to run us over. Ooh. Is that players? Yeah. Got your bitch. <laughs> oh, Joe saved our lives. Whoa! I was so quiet because I was like, I don't know what this is going to happen. Those motherfucking players. I went down. Plane. Joe went down. And her dags went down. Then Joe said, got your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they were about to take our fucking helicopter. I was trying to sell revive. See, that shit was, I was exciting. Trying to say the Holy shit. Was reviving. That was insane. That was so much at risk. There's tension. Okay. I felt a little bit of tension there. We finally I felt a lot of bit of tension, someone, actually. Though? Yeah. Now, you'll Are definitely run yet? into people during yet? the X Are we yeah. there yet? Uh, yeah. Are we there yet? You know when we're there. Thanksgiving miracle. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, well, that's a good one to end on because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, edit these together. Uh, but, okay, so uh, after playing a while, uh, yeah, I like DMZ. Like I, told, like I said before, I like DMZ. I think it's a change of pace. Um, in my opinion, I love Battle Royale a little more, but... You know, if I want to yeah. change it up and play against PVE and have that little uh, intense uh, spikes uh, when we exfil to see if players roll up. Because, you know, they, they know when you're exfilling, there's only a certain amount of exfills and it can get pretty exciting there towards the end. Now, if you look, we've got oh new update, <laughs> update yep. the game via the launcher. Uh, now if we look that we, we have, uh, you know, our upgraded three plate armor, we've got those weapons that we like, and we can go back in looking much, much better and feeling much, much buffer and tougher and take on and start to go hunting for players and stuff. That's always fun. So it's an evolving mode, and I think it's a great addition, and I'm thankful that uh, Warzone and Call of Duty in general is, is evolving and adding things to it, to the package. They should be. They're making millions and billions of dollars. So it's good to see that it's uh, they're, they're actually putting some work in. So, anyways... That's going to be it for us, guys. Thank you all so much. And uh, we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Thank Bye. you for helping out, 8 Feet. Thank you all. See you all later. Bye.